What's going on guys? I'm Rhino. You're watching Rhino's Stuff. Let's check out some teacher tech. This is the Kitsch Bar KB1200 12 megapixel document camera for teachers. Records in 30 frames per second. It's got a built-in speaker and this thing has a remote. We got packing foam, KB1200 user manual. We got a remote. Takes two AAA batteries and they are included. We've got a USB-A to USB-C adapter cable a plastic prophylactic, and the actual camera. You can see it folds up very nice and very small. And wow, that's actually got quite a bit of reach. What is that? That's at least 18 inches tall. Oh, That's like just the right height to use this as a webcam. Here on the base of the unit, we've got speaker and microphone controls. You can mute yourself, turn the volume down, and turn the volume up. On this side of the base, we've got two USB ports, so you can use two different devices while you're taking up one port on your computer. The cable is permanently attached to the back of the device. And on this side of the device, we got nothing. And right here, built-in speaker. Maybe make a conference call. On the top of the camera, we've got these buttons here. We've got our mirror button. We've got our ISO or brightness buttons. We've got autofocus, which is super handy. And we've got our pairing button for the remote. This little hole right here, that's to indicate if you're actually paired or not to the remote. And in case you're wondering about the built-in microphones, right here. Now I'm going to go ahead and get the KB1200 plugged in. I'm going to install some software. We're going to check out how it looks when you are recording directly from the device. And we're going to use it as a document camera. And I think we will go ahead and check it out as if we were using it as a conference camera. The video you're seeing right now is being recorded through OBS at the highest resolution settings. That would be 3840 by 3104. Let's change it to something a little bit more reasonable. Although that's fairly decent. That's definitely more than 15 frames per second. What you're seeing now is being recorded in 4K resolution, as is my little camera right up here. So uh, yeah, this is what it looks like. This is the speed if you are connected to this using 4K resolution in OBS. It's actually freakishly smooth. And here we are at 1080p. You can see that is a solid 30 frames per second. There are like zero dropped frames. Of course, compared to this little one up here, which is recording at 60 frames per second, there is a little bit of like blur going on, but it's not so much that it's going to make any bit of difference if you're using this as a document camera. So just checking out the quality here. Again, we are just using OBS settings. Um, nothing has been changed. I just turned on the camera. Everything is being done in the software built into the camera. So hardware. It looks really good. And of course, other than just reading the manual, you're probably going to be wanting to use a document camera for some writing on regular paper with an ink pen or something. So let's see what that experience is like. I like the uh, automatic white balance there. It does a pretty good job. It's pretty freaking fast. Looks good. I like it. I like it a lot. And now that I've got the remote paired, let's check out some of these functions. So let's go ahead and zoom on in here. That looks great zoomed on in. I like that. Change the white balance here. Darken it up. Lighten it up. And let's do a bit of mirroring. Boom. Boom. And how about some rotation? Pa. Kapow. Works pretty good. And when you're zoomed in, that's when you can take advantage of the buttons here on the circle. You can go up, you can go down, you can go right, and you can go left. And basically this means that even at 1080p, you're still taking full advantage of the 12 megapixel camera. Using this as a webcam, this is what I look like under some very harsh studio lighting. I'm going to go ahead and turn these things off, and this is what I look like in 3, 2, 1... Now I've got my studio lights turned off. The only light going on in here is up here on my ceiling fan and the tiny little ring light that's right here around the lens. This is what you can get default out of the box 1080p video camera right here. Now let's check out the audio. And the audio you're hearing now is coming directly from the KB1200 document camera from Pitch Bar. And this is what it sounds like. I have no settings changed in OBS, except for a little bit of gain so you guys are able to hear me as the microphones are right down there on the table. So I did have to boost it up a little bit, but this is what I sound like. 
Now, aside from a little bit of lag and a little bit of echo, I am extremely shocked at just how good the dual microphones on here sound. Like, that's shockingly good for a document camera. I have never experienced a document camera with audio that sounds this good. You're literally hearing it right now. Listen to this. La 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 la. Freaking awesome. Now, just for reference, this is what a $150 microphone sounds like compared to the dual microphones built into this. While there is a difference, um, it's still shockingly good that this sort of sound comes from those little microphones there. You know, even compared to a $150 mic. And here we are in the IPVO Visualizer software. You can see I am still running 1080p. I am recording directly from that software. I'm also recording in OBS, so if there's any lag, it might be because I'm overtaxing my system, so I apologize for that. But yeah, um, it, it looks pretty decent. 1080p right here. I love the IPVO software. Underneath my head, you guys can't see it, but it's like right... If you were looking at the screen. Um, you can select your camera in it. You can change the resolution in it. Right now I'm at 1080p. Right here we've got some video filters. Those are a lot of fun. We've got black and white, inverted black and white, red on black. Ooh, spooky. And uh, my favorite is just the regular grayscale. It's like nice and clean and crisp and like the exposure just looks good here. Um, go ahead and go to grid lines. You can have it up to 16 by 16. So if you were displaying this up on a smart board or something, you'd be able to trace those lines on your screen and just kind of help yourself out a little bit if you were doing a worksheet with your class. Go ahead and turn those things off and I'm gonna go ahead and set this back to normal. You can also freeze a live image. La 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 la, you guys can't see it, but I'm moving my hands in front of the camera vigorously. So turn that back off, bloop, and uh, yeah, now I'm back to normal. Uh, the software here, the visualizer, can be used in Mac, it can be used on Windows 7, 10, and 11, and it does work as a web app, and they also have an app that works with your Chromebooks. So basically, the IPVO visualizer is the end-all be-all of document camera software. Now, some of you out there might actually be interested in what the speaker sounds like, so this is what the speaker sounds like for the KB-1200 from Kitchbar. This is me talking, and a video is playing on the screen, and the speaker on the KB-1200 is making the noises, and it's being recorded by my microphone up here. Final thoughts here on the Kitchbar KB-1200. Um, the audio is awesome. The fact that it has a speaker built in is awesome. 12 megapixel camera is awesome, especially at 1080p and you've zoomed in and you can use the controls and kind of go all over the place. Very nice. When you're connecting this up with the IPVO Visualizer software, you get an even better experience. And I think this thing just speaks for itself. It does an excellent job at being a document camera and a fairly passable job at being a webcam. The fact that it's got that speaker built in and the pretty darn good microphones here, I mean, this can definitely be used in a conference situation. If you are under fluorescent lights, this thing's going to shine. If you're under a single LED light that's up there in the ceiling, um, you might not get the greatest picture, but it's going to be passable, especially since when you are connected to one of those video conferencing systems, it's going to be putting you like that big on somebody else's screen. So it doesn't matter what the pixels are looking like on your screen, because on their screens, you're that big. So do I recommend the KB-1200? Heck yeah! Check this thing out. Links are going to be down there in the description. This thing definitely takes the place of my previous favorite, the InSwan INS2. And uh, yeah, I'll definitely be using this in the classroom this year.